Hey guys, Baird here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to rip your serves. Stay tuned. Okay, please don't skip this part. This is super important. There are uh, a couple of disclaimers that I need to kind of throw at you real quick before we get into the footage. Um, I was able to get out to the courts and record a whole bunch of footage of me explaining how this works, but first, before we begin, I'm gonna teach you how to hit your serves with a ton of power and a ton of top spin, but before we get into that, please understand that this is a tool that you can use not necessarily a serve that you should use every single time, okay? So this isn't like dinking, right? Where dinking is typically the same thing, same kind of swing, same kind of mechanics over and over and over again. This is something that you pull out of your tool bag when you think it's a good idea to do so. You're gonna see me serve the ball really hard in just a second. I don't do that all the time. In fact, I, sometimes I don't even do it throughout an entire match. So. Please keep that in mind that, you know, this is just a tool, not necessarily a technique or methodology that you're gonna use every time. The other thing is that in order to, to do this properly, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of practice. If you practice the kinds of things that I'm gonna show you today, it's gonna to feel very weird, very strange. You're gonna be very uncomfortable. You're gonna hit balls three courts down and stuff like that. So please keep that in mind that this is gonna take a lot of work. So, having said that, let's go out to the courts. All right guys, so let's look at some of the actual swing mechanics behind this kind of serve. It can be a little complicated, but once you understand sort of the core principles of the whole thing, it really begin to make sense. And uh, also you can then use some of these other, these principles in your other, uh, in some of your other swings like your ground strokes and, and stuff like that. So the first thing we're gonna do, we actually don't need these right now, so let's put them aside real quick. The kind of power that you can get from a serve and pickleball does not come from your paddle. It really doesn't come from your arm. It really doesn't come from your wrist too much. I mean, it, it can. Where the power comes from is in your, your core, in your waist. So oftentimes what I see is when people serve, they'll serve like this, okay? Notice my hands, my arms here. This is fine, right? You can get a serve in every single time and this is what people teach and that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with serving this way. It's gonna go in, you're gonna get the point going. That's totally fine. But if you wanna add some power, we need to engage the hips. So instead of moving my dominant arm, and by the way, if you're a lefty, just switch everything around. Instead of moving my, my dominant arm like this, let's move my non-dominant arm at the same time. So practice this. Just go like this. Notice how it's almost like I'm holding like a barrel right here, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm swinging both hands through like this. I'm rotating my shoulders. Notice how my chest and my shoulders are rotating through at the same time. Now, start to engage your hips as well. And what you'll notice when you start doing this is you'll come off this foot when you go forward and you'll sort of come off your non-dominant foot when you go back. And you're transferring the weight through. So I'm coming back and I'm coming forward. And all of that weight and all that force is gonna go where? Right into the ball. This is the key to getting more power in your serves. So just do this. And look, if you're at the office, <laughs> you know, go into a closet or something and, and, and practice this. And you can just do this all day long. Sometimes I'll do this if I'm, you know, if I'm waiting for a video to render or for a podcast to upload or something like this. I'll just stand here and do this all day long. Now grab your paddle. Now we can do it with the paddle as well, just like this. Notice my hips, my shoulders, everything is coming through. That's the basic mechanics of the entire swing when it comes to a pickleball serve, a power serve that is. But Keep in mind, of course, like I said earlier, if things start to go haywire and you're in the middle of the match and you're trying to do this, don't worry about it. 
practice this first. This is not easy to do the first time around. These serves can easily get out of control and that's the last thing you want to do when you're trying to play a consistent game. Okay, so now that we've got this motion down, we're turning everything through, we want to focus on the actual paddle itself. Now, in terms of the grip for a power serve, the lower you hold the paddle down at the bottom, the more power you're going to have because you're going to have more angle. If you choke up on the paddle up here, you're not going to get any, any kind of power. It's kind of like holding a hammer, right? You hold the hammer at the very bottom of the handle, right? You don't hold it towards the head because you can't get any power when you're, when you're holding it towards the head. So the, the more you can choke down on the paddle down here, the more power you're going to get. The trick to doing a power serve this way is when you're coming through the ball, you want to get as much paddle head speed as possible, okay? Power is not going to come if you lock your elbow and you go like this. Power is going to come when you push through the ball and you break your wrist at the last moment. That generates the highest amount of paddle head speed for these kinds of shots. So the trick is, and again, our feet are going to stay perfectly still, okay? When you come through, you're going to push your paddle as far as you can. Notice how I'm pushing, okay? And at the very last moment, you break your wrist and you flip all the way up like that. That generates an enormous amount of paddle head speed. Now, when you start to do this for the first time, be warned, you're gonna hit some terrible shots. <laughs> I did, it's normal, it's natural. Change is gonna feel very weird at first. If it doesn't feel weird, that means you're not changing. So, focus on when you're coming through the ball, push the paddle forward, and then break your wrist at the very last moment, okay? Let's look at that from a different angle. Push, flip. Push, flip. Like that. Notice how I'm rotating all the way through. Push, flip. And you want that explosive point, right? When the hips are coming through, bam! You want it to be instant. Like that. Okay, so here's a side angle. Notice how far the ball is gonna impact out in front of me. Look how far that is, that's what you want. Push, flip. You can do this motion. Push, flip. Push, flip. Push, flip, like that. And you can do that over and over again. And you don't, you're not doing this. You're not flipping it right here. You gotta push first. The push comes first. Push, flip. Push, flip. Okay? And that's how you do it. Now, eventually you want to introduce the ball, just do it gradually. Don't even worry about trying to hit it too hard at the moment. Just focus on the push and the flip. Push and the flip, just like that. Push, flip. Like that. Okay, so putting it all together now, remember that you want to practice this before you start doing it out on the courts. Start slow. Okay, so just focus on the rotation and hitting that ball out in front of you. Like that. Get the weight off that foot when you come through, like this. See how I come through it all? When I do that, all of that weight is being transferred off of this side into the ball as you come through. And then start to speed it up. See how explosive that was? Just like that. Notice the explosiveness, right? All the hips, all the shoulders and everything come right through the ball. Okay, so now that you've seen how the serve works, there's a couple of uh, closing thoughts that I wanna give you guys. 
One thing that's important to understand is that this is how the serve works for me, okay? Based on the way my body works and so on. If there's something that you need to change because your body works differently or because you prefer this or that, feel free to do so. There's nothing wrong with, with taking away some of the stuff that I do and adding your own little flavor, your own sort of mix to things. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, as, you've, as you know, when you look around the, the courts, you see tons of different types of serves. So there's nothing wrong with that. Also keep in mind, this is gonna take a lot of work and a lot of practice. If you're in a tournament and you're trying to do the serve and you keep messing up, forget about it. Don't, even if you're in a rec play match, okay, and you're trying to do this and then it's failing miserably, scratch it. Just scrap the whole thing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Get a, get a partner, arrive 30 minutes early to open play and practice it there. The key is again, getting the hips and the shoulders and that point of impact all working all at once to create uh, a high power, high top spin serve. So guys, I hope that the video was helpful for you. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know uh, how, it's, how it works for you. If there's something you do differently or something that you, know, you would like to add, feel free to let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And as usual, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.